Hey, what's up, man, players? Man, it's all 24-7 there. With this guy, uh, with this game, what am I saying? With this game against King Iceman, man, this dude talks a lot of trash. Talks a lot of trash, man. This was back when I was on the Giants bandwagon, man. They just boosted Donnell up because he had three touchdowns against the dreadful Redskins. So they thought he was good. I thought he was good. Not even by a lot. He fooled me. And this guy was playing with the Cardinals. Now, here you see this dude messaging me. True style, 828. This guy's a bum. This guy's a bum. I will be posting our... Our game against him later. I'll be posting that game in a few days or maybe today. I don't even know, but I'll be I'll be posting that game. So be sure to check that game out. That dude's horrible. That dude's horrible. But here you see this guy. I'm not even my lie, man. This guy definitely gave me some problems. This guy gave me a lot of problems defensively. I was not able to do what I wanted to do. But here you see him with the quarterback sneak. We stuff it right there. And he tries to do a fake hike. Does a QB sneak again. And Carson Palmer, if he did that in real life, he like, what? He, he can't do that in real life. But it's whatever, man. This game really struggled with, you know, what? <laughs> what am I saying? Look at me. I'm 30, 26. I, mean, I don't even have to say that I'm struggling. I don't even have to say that I'm struggling. There you see with the heat right there. I hit Victor Cruz. And that's a solid completion. But I'm trying to hit an out route right here. I'm trying to hit an out route. Or I'm trying to hit Donnell on a curl route. I'll, you know, that's what I'm trying to do right here. He gives me enough time. And what type of throw is that? What type of throw is that, Eli? Disgusting. Throwing it in the dirt. That's not going to get it done. I send pressure right there. And we get the sack right there. Third down and 23. What's he about to do? And Carson Palmer not able to get that throw in there. And we hold him to a field goal. But here you see me, man, and, you know, I just cannot get the throws off. Like, I have people that I see, but I can't get the throws off. And there you see me right there. I lost two people with, I think his name is Corey Washington. And I didn't, he, he does not play like that for me. He does not play like that for me. Like, what? Stiff farming people jumping passes out of nowhere? He does not do that for me, man. I don't even understand it. Last game I played with the Cardinals, I had Patrick Peterson dropping pick sixes. I had Matthew dropping picks. Um, just a, I mean, just a bunch of BS happening, man. I don't understand it, man. That dude Matthew does not play like that for me. They see me dropping, you know, end zone lobs. Second down and ten, I'm rolling out. I throw up another end zone lob right there, and that time we get behind the defense for the touchdown. But unfortunately, it was not that easy, man. It was not that easy, and I did not even see that dude out the backfield. He sent his running back on a wheel route out the backfield. I did not see him. He did not do that, so that was his first time doing that. Now I'm on it. I'm covering it and right there, and he ends up mossing me right there. Ends up snaggling me right there. He's running a bunch of crossing routes, but right there, Prince gets the interception, and we able to stop him. And now what are we about to do right now? It's third and 13. It's third and 13. I motion hike Victor Cruz. He gets kind of stuck, so I'm rolling out. I see Victor Cruz. I get the throw off, and that's a nice strike. I playmaker him upfield by holding down left trigger and moving the right analog stick up. So I playmaker up his crossing route to, you know, I playmaker him upfield past the zones, and we were able to get the completion. But I'm trying to get something, and there you see me with the run game. That was a great call right there. I got about 13 yards in a run play, and it was a quick 13, so I call no huddle, and I go back to the run game again to get stuff. So we got to use our last time out. So now I'm just end zone chucking right here, and he overthrows it right there, drops the interception in the end zone. What am I about to do? I throw it up to him again. What, what do you mean what I'm about to do? And we get a drop right there. And right here, we throw it up for the last time. And nobody had a shot to make a play on that. And we get ball back at halftime. We get ball back after half. I throw it up to Dunnell. He snags all over him. That's what I like to see. 5 of 14, so safe to say. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. I missed X. I missed X twice. And now I take off with Eli Manning. That's just disgusting. What? About, what? What's going on right now, man? Definitely a struggle. This game was a struggle. This guy was talking trash the entire game. I actually just got done beating this dude in 2K. I actually just got done beating this dude in 2K. He beat me. What? Like, that's what he does. Don't know. Madden has to be, Madden has to be province. Cause 
you know, this was before he fumbled, what, five, six times against the Redskins, but apparently they knew something we did. That dude definitely had me fooled. And I tried to go to the run game, and he just, he was playing real good on his defensive line, and, you know, I was strapped, man. Not even about a lie, man. I was strapped. And this play still disgusts me because it's just awful defense. Just awful. That's not going to get it done. And right here is when he really started talking, really started, you know, yapping, really started. And I'm just, you know, not doing anything. I'm, I mean, what, what, what is this, man? I'm in a cage right now, fourth and 17. What am I about to do, man? I don't even know what I'm about to do. I throw it out to Ruben Randall, no dice. And I got to get a stop right here. I can't let him score right there. I got three, four people on that dude right there. So I'm, I, I'm just trying to get a stop right there. He runs an out route, Prince jumps it, and we hold him to another field goal. So. We're down 20 to 17. I wish it was 17. 20 to 7. And, you know, I'm getting a few completions here and there, but for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm scrambling out with Eli Manning. That's just not going to get it done. Or is it going to get it done? I'm trying to beat him to the edge. Eli Manning takes off upfield. Eli Manning gets to the edge right there. And that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, man. Definitely a struggle offensively. I throw a, what? Disgusting pass. During 11, and, I, you know, I'm just getting sacked, not getting anyone open. Fourth and 16, what am I doing? Just, oh, my goodness, locked up. Calais Campbell got four sacks. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Man, Cardinals definitely got some good defense right there. But there you see me with the first interception with John Beeson. He threw it off his back foot because the pressure got there. And that's a pick six that I desperately needed. But there you see me right there with the heat. What the heat? I start sending heat and I start lurking in the middle with Beeson. And we get back-to-back -back interceptions. But can our offense score? There you see my hit Victor Cruz. Late hit? Oh, my goodness. This trying to take out that dude's knees, man. See, man, that's not even right, man. Not even right right there. But we go back to the run game right there. And now we got the lead 21-20. to We're still sending heat. You know, I didn't start sending heat on this dude until just now. But now I'm sending pressure. I'm sending the heat. He gets the throw off right there over the throw. Fourth and 19. And I, and, I, and I get there, man. And I get there again. I get there again. So, you know, as I keep talking about my defensive guy, you know, most of the time I focus on teaching how to stop things. But, you know, I still got heat. I still got the heaters, man, as people like to say. I, I still got the heaters. <laughs> <laughs> the Eaters, man. But right there, take in. Take in. That was a great play right there. He he passed it right in the middle of my safeties, and no one was fast enough to make a play. Goes for two, gets it. And that was 28 to 28. And we get the run game going, though. Great run. Got a lot more than I expected. So we go back to the run game and get destroyed. And that's a dropped interception right there. Oh my goodness. Third and 10. Dropped interception right there. What am I about to do? Fourth and 10. And what came to get the throw off? I had B open and I can't get the throw off, man. So frustrating. But now we just got to clamp up, man. We got to clamp up with John Beeson, man. I don't know why he kept testing me. I don't know why he kept testing me. I just sent heat and he would throw it to his first read. But, you know, if I'm sitting on your first read and you hit your first read, oh, my goodness, Peyton Hillis runs him over. And now we just got to do a few more end zone chucks I Throw it up to Corey Washington, and he gets mossed, and he catches the interception, and now we are going to overtime. Or do I get an interception right there? But I'm outside field goal range. It's at the 47, but I throw it up to Corey Washington. That does not stop me. No, I throw it up to Donnell, who catches it for the touchdown, but he ends up dropping it. Ends up dropping it at the last second, so here we are in overtime, and this is where, oh my goodness, get down. To get down after you catch a pass, you rapidly tap X to get down, and or else I would have got my head taken off right there. So now I'm starting to do a lot of crossing routes, and we're starting to have success against his defense. But here I am. I got to throw the ball away right there. Crossing route right there to Dunnell. Then we send Peyton Hillis on a fullback dive. We get the third and one. I take off with Eli Manning. I get down. Then I hand it off to Peyton Hillis. And this is a very good drive right here, man. Definitely a difficult drive. Almost almost taking up the entire overtime. Just But there you see me with the strike right there. I start throwing a lot of slants, 16 to 35, and taking into account, 
I just got a lot of completion in overtime. So it was definitely a struggle. But we're able to come back and beat this dude. But the most wild part about this game is not the fact that I came back with three interceptions with John Beeson in the fourth quarter. It's the fact that two games later, I dropped 91 on this dude. That's the craziest part about everything. You know, two games later, you know, the 91-point game that I just posted, that was against this dude. Like, it's just wild, man. Man is wild. <laughs> man is definitely wild. That's what happens when I figure out your defense. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the game.